and I am back with a new lesson. Well, this lesson brings out the difference between the phrases clean out, clean off, clean up and clean away. Well, all these phrases uh, seem almost similar because they have practically the same meanings, don't they? No, you're wrong. Their meanings are quite different. To help you understand better, I have done a bit of a drawing about of the car and a kitchen for your understanding. Uh, I know my drawing's quite bad, but please bear with me while I go ahead with this lesson. Uh, we will deal with the first phrase and see how clean out is different from all the others. Okay, dealing with clean out. When I say clean out the oven, or clean out the chimney. Why am I using clean out and not clean off or any other phrase? Clean out is nothing but it is talking about cleaning the inside or the cleaning the inside space of something. Okay, let's talk about your car. Your car is, is a thing and inside the car there is a space. Of course there is. And therefore I say clean out the car. So inside the car, whatever mess is in there, we clean it out. And therefore I say clean out the car. Okay, here, here's my kitchen that I've so painstakingly drawn. Uh, and my kitchen has an oven and I would say clean out the oven. Why? Because the oven is a thing. This thing has got a space inside it. It is possible that the oven inside is quite messy and therefore I need to clean it out. The same goes for my chimney. The one here. The chimney is a thing. It's got a space in it and I want to clean out the inside space of the chimney and therefore I say clean out the chimney. Now we will talk about clean off. Why is clean off different from the other three phrases? Well, clean off is nothing but cleaning the surface of something. Okay, let's go back to my kitchen. Okay, now clean off, as I said, refers to cleaning the surface. Okay, so the kitchen counter, okay, this, this space out here is my kitchen counter, this space out here. We all need to know that the surface is a flat thing. So anything that is a flat surface will always have the word clean off because you are cleaning off only the counter, not the inside of anything, not the outside of anything, but a plain surface. So you will clean off the kitchen counter, make it clean. Clean off the windshield. Well, this is the windshield of your car. If it is dirty, you know what's going to happen. You won't be able to drive because you can't see. And therefore, you clean off the windshield. So you clean out the car but you clean off the surface or the windshield okay we will now go on to cleaning up something okay when do you clean up the kitchen or when do you clean up the city why do i use clean up in this case now clean up refers to cleaning a larger space Okay, as I said, you know, the oven, you know, the, the, the dishes, the cabinets, they are parts or they are things that are there in the kitchen. But the kitchen by itself is a fairly large area. So I have only drawn the cabinet, the kitchen cabinets, the oven, the dishes, the stove. But the kitchen is probably the entire board out here. 
So therefore, when I'm referring to a large space, I will always use the word clean up. Your city, you have a lot of cleanliness drives in your city, don't you? We sure do. But we always say clean up your city. Why? Because the city is a fairly large place, a really huge space. And then you have clean up the hard drive of your computer, of course. So the hard drive of your computer in, in the physical sense is quite small, but it has a huge space as far as the, the virtual, you know, it's, it's, it's a virtual space that I'm talking about. And therefore I say clean up the hard drive. So anything dealing with cleaning a large space, a very large space, will always have clean up. And then last but not the least, you have clean away. When do I say clean away? I can say clean away when I'm talking about clean away the dishes, clean away the mud. But why do I say clean away? Clean away is nothing but cleaning the actual thing that is causing the mess. Okay, in case you've missed it, I'll repeat that again. Cleaning away is nothing but cleaning the actual thing that is causing the mess. Okay, now let's go to my kitchen again. Okay, so I have clean away the dishes. Why do I say clean away and not any other phrase? Because on the dishes, there may be a bit of dirt on it. Now it is the dirt that is actually causing the mess, that is actually making the dishes look dirty. So therefore, we're talking about the actual thing that is causing the mess. And therefore I say, clean away the dishes. Let's go to my car. Maybe inside the car, on my seat covers, there's mud splattered all over. I would say clean away the mud because it is the mud that is causing the actual mess on the seat covers. So clean away is nothing but cleaning the actual thing that is causing the mess. So that's how you use words like clean out, clean off, clean up and clean away. Well, keep practicing this and you will see that it's much easier to use in the right context. Well, that brings me to the end of this lesson on these four phrases. Keep practicing. I'll see you back with some new lessons. Until then, this is me saying goodbye.